guys, so today I'm going to be filming a very exciting video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I keep in my travel suitcase for work. So this is, everyone kind of calls it like a roller board, but I just call it a suitcase or like a carry-on. So this is basically everything that I have to keep with me when I'm going on my trips. What I put it in here basically stays the same. Nothing ever comes out of it really, unless if I like want to switch out some outfits or something depending on the weather. But all of my toiletries are always staying in here. My makeup always stays in here because um, I have to have it to be able to like go in a hurry because um, since I am such a new flight attendant, I'm on reserve. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it means that I'm kind of on call a lot. That also can mean that they can change my schedule very quickly. Um, I could think that I'm going one place for a few days, but then in the middle of the trip, they could change it. So it's kind of like I have to be prepared for everything right now. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I keep with me and what my necessities are and some tips for packing because I have had to learn how to pack lightly and kind of condense everything. <laughs> um, my boyfriend's so funny. So I have had to really figure out how to pack lightly because I am not a light packer by any means. I'm always the one who's overpacking, who like needs to take stuff out for the 50 pound limit. Um, so yeah, this is kind of some tips and tricks that I have learned along the way um, to pack lightly and pick and choose what's important. So if you guys want to see what I keep in my rollerboard suitcase, then just keep on watching the video. Okay, so this is literally like such a strange angle, um, and I didn't think about it because I'm wearing a dress, but I'm just, I want you guys to be able to see what I have in here and the layout that I have it in. So we open it up and this is the good stuff. So back here, I just keep all of my undergarments, tights, stockings, underwear, I keep a swimsuit, I have socks, sports bra, regular bra, um, that sort of thing. And then in this clear zipper, I have, I showed this in a favorites video. This is the Dash Hot Surface Cooking thing. So um, I'll make eggs and stuff in here when I'm away. And then I have this little sewing kit in case if I get a hole in something. Because I feel like that's just so prone to happening. Um, I've already used it a few times. And then I just have a little mirror. It says, it's by the brand Goody. And um, I just use this so I could see the back of my hair because sometimes I don't like using my phone. Just to make sure everything's looking good. And then I just have my hairbrush and a small little tripod in case if I do decide to film while I'm on a trip. So that's all that's in there. This thing is such a necessity for me though. If you can find one and you like to travel a lot, it just it's kind of a lifesaver. Um, if you don't like to eat out, if you like bring your food with you. And we have the main section. Um, so it just has a little strap here that I undo. And then the first thing that I see, this is always how I pack it too. This is exactly what it looks like. Um, let me lift it up a little bit. And then you probably can't see this side, but all I have down here is this little straightener. And it's just tucked in very nicely. So this is what holds all my jewelry. I love this thing. I got this from Marshalls and it just holds all my earrings and necklaces really, really compactly and nothing ever falls out. Um, this is by Adriana Vitadini, I believe that's how I pronounce it. Um, I have her bag as my tote bag too um, and I just love this. It is the so great for traveling with jewelry and like I said, I found this at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So then I have this thing. So I bought this little set. I showed this in a haul too. I bought this little set on Amazon and I'll leave it listed below. But in this little bag, I just have all of my cords. So I just have my laptop charger. I have my company issued tablet. I have my um, iWatch charger. And I found this to be the easiest way for me to carry cords so that they don't get all mixed up. And I do this with my headphones too. So I just take these little things and then I just wrap them up and nothing ever gets tangled together. Um, and yeah, I find that just really, really handy. So just looks like that. And then I have my phone charger. And then in here I just keep a watch, 
a spare flashlight, and then a whole bunch of spare batteries for my flashlight. So that's kind of like my technology, I guess you could say, bag. Um, but I just always want to have my cords in the same place so that I know where to grab them. So yeah, all that is in here. So then I always like to bring a hat with me. This one I just got from Nordstrom. It says LA. Um, and all black just goes with everything. And then in, let's see, we'll go to this bag on this side. So this is my toiletry bag. I know it looks really huge, but um, I bring all my full-size products because as a flight attendant, you don't have to have under four fluid ounces, I believe it is. Um, you can have all of your full-size products, so that's why this is so big. Um, so if you guys want me to do like a what's in my toiletry bag, then I can totally do that, but that's just a whole nother video in itself. And then right here I have my makeup bag. I got this bag from Forever 21 and I love it. It fix, fits everything. Um, I still have space in it. So if you guys want to see um, a what's in my makeup bag, travel makeup bag too, I can do that as well. Um, and then in this little pouch I just keep my favorite hair straightener. This is the Lange hair straightener that I have been talking about nonstop, And I just put it in this little heat protectant baggie so that I'm not burning anything down and I can just put it in here really quickly. And I got this from Ulta. And then right over here, I keep my shoes. So um, I wear my heels to work, but when I have uh, layovers um, and overnights, I don't wear those heels. So I just keep a bag where I have my Converse in here. And then I just keep a pair of flip-flops with me to walk around the hotel. Um, I'll probably be switching out the Converse for just like just my sandals when it hits June um, but right now some of my overnights it still can get kind of cold. Right so then all that's left in here are these two bags. Um, one's a little bit bigger than the other. So all that I have in here are all my clothes. So I like to keep them separate. Um, and so this is the smaller one and I keep all of my bottoms in here. So it just looks like that. I tried rolling them but I felt like it was taking up too much space and it was getting too bulky. So all I have in here is a pair of leggings. These are just the Zella leggings that I got from Nordstrom. And then a pair of jeans. These are just black jeans with a little bit of rips in them. And who makes these? Uh, Con Cancun? I don't know. Whatever that brand is. Um, and then I keep a scarf. I find scarves to be so useful in case if it gets cold. Um, because it just really, it can put together an outfit and then it can help me stay warm too. So I don't usually wear it, but I like to keep it with me because it's such a travel necessity. Um, so I just keep that at the bottom of there. And then I just fold my clothes, my jeans and pants like this. And they fit in flat and nice. I do have to say that um, if you are a flight attendant, I feel like these bags, it's I've been using them for a few months and I get these like strings that come off. It doesn't really bother me, but um, if it does bother you then. They're still staying intact pretty well though. Okay, so that's all that I keep in this smaller one. And it sits up really nicely and it has a handle to just grab out when you need it. And then in the larger one, this keeps all of my tops and pajamas. So in here, I just keep a plain gray t-shirt because you can't go wrong with a t-shirt. And then I keep a uh, plain gray tank top that's a little bit longer and it's a little bit fancier because it has like a slit up the side and it's really cute and it goes with pretty much everything. And then I have a just plain gray tank top. And then I keep a jacket. This is just a olive green jacket in case if uh, the crew wants to go out for dinner or something. Because um, I do tend to have uh, like four day trips so I have to have a few different things of clothing. Sometimes I'll only have two day trips 
but mostly I've been having three or four day trips so I have to keep a good amount of clothes and I like to have choices. And then all that's left in here is a pair of pajamas and I like to bring the long pant pajamas because it kind of um, takes place of sweatpants for me too. So these are just some Victoria's Secret pajamas. I love the silk ones. And then the long sleeve shirt kind of acts as like a sweatshirt for me. So I like to have those with me and then I'll just turn up the air conditioning really, really cold in my room. But in this bag, I do find it most useful to roll up the clothes. Um, I feel like it just works better in this one, just not in the pants one. Um, but it's kind of your personal preference. So I'm going to show you guys how I put everything back in to make it all fit really nicely. So I put the lightest um, items that I have at the top of the bag so that it doesn't get too hot, top heavy and fall over. So then I just layer, I like to have the handle on the outside of the bag so it's easier for me to grab. And then that one just goes right on top. Take the shoe bag and fit that nice on the side. My toiletry bag always goes at the bottom because it's the heaviest thing. And then right in between, my makeup bag fits perfectly. My hair straightener fits on this side over here. I like to just tuck that in. And then this, I just put right in the middle there. The hat, I like to put on like an outer edge so that it kind of keeps its shape and folds around that. And then my jewelry, I can just throw on top wherever I want. And then you just bundle it up and you're ready to go. Sometimes I will bring my laptop. It does weigh a lot and um, I find that to be a pain because as a placement, you have to lift your bag. You have to carry it when you're going to the hotels, up and down vans. Like it can be really annoying if it's a super heavy bag. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope that these tips kind of helped you guys if you are a flight attendant or if you just need some uh, packing tips if you're kind of like me and you overpack way too much. I really hope that this kind of helped you. For those of you who are a flight attendant, some things that I find useful that might be helpful to you guys. So don't forget to hit that little red button and subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more flight attendant videos like what's in my crew cooler. I feel like that's one that I'll be filming very, very soon. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!